Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning to you too, Das fam. Good morning. Welcome to today's video and the very last day that I will be um, saying good morning to you guys in the hospital and hopefully the very last day that you have to see this hair that needs to be washed so badly. Um, still not getting up like into a bath or anything but I am having lots of sponge, sponge baths. baths. I am able to wash myself pretty much so um, getting ready for breakfast. It's 20 after 8. So this is what I get before breakfast. I have a um, uh, pain pill. This is the pain pill that I get and I have two Tylenols and I have um, Some vitamins some things that will help me build my calcium levels back up calcium and vitamin D so that my um, Bones can heal better. Anyways, I'm showing you my view again today. I'm incredible you guys Sun coming up over the water every morning has just been stunning. This has been seriously the hardest thing that's ever happened to me the worst thing that's ever happened to me the most shocking thing that's ever happened to me ever and it's also been the most beautiful thing that's ever happened to me like I've been able to see God's hand in so many things in this journey every single thing that I need comes to me as soon as I need it I have like the best nurses of the nurses I need when I need them because they're so different I've had this room to myself like that never happens like I've, I've been in the hospital before I've never had the room to myself before it's just been amazing absolutely amazing my family's been amazing but i've learned so much about me about people some of you guys know um you know in traumatic situations that the first responders the people that you see first are the people that that have the greatest effect on you and the first responders that came and took care of me and and moved me out of the arena were literally like i want to see them again like i like they were so 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 amazing to me i'm hoping that they're the ones that actually take me home all right guys it's Eight in the morning and wasn't too bad tonight and it wasn't too cold. Hopefully the furnace guys show up today because because uh, we need to be warm. 62 degrees and the heat Dad, is on but the heat's not working. Dad, day 17 we got the pole and now day 18 we get the standards. Oh, you get the, the standards for the pole? Yes, Anyways, how were you? You were, you were warm last night? Yeah. I have a sweater. I have this sweater on and shorts. Oh, it's cold in here. And a blanket, like one of those tiny blankets. How you doing, Levi? You warm enough? You warm enough, Levi? Are you warm? Okay. Let's get you out. Oh. Step up here. here, step up. Step up. You warm enough. Step off. There you go. That's where you go in the morning, isn't it? Do you want an egg this morning? Do you want an egg? <laughs> Are you cold? What? Because it was shook, like, shook around too much. But so you got your oven calendar? <laughs> no, because um, when it was day nine, she got one of the jump standards there, so I pushed it to day twenty-three. So what? Okay, well I guess Gabby might as well just open up all hers because there's Sophie. no point, in Sophie. Okay, okay, okay. There's no point if you're gonna get nothing. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna open it. Okay. You're gonna wait. Yeah. So Sophie's going crazy now. Because too much. Like just open the box and pull it all out because you're not going to get anything. My mare is so pretty. My mare's name is going to be Sophia. Uh, I pushed it into that open it day. All up. But this that day is the cat. Gabby, See, I pushed we, it. We already it. have the. Oh wait, no, we don't. We already have a dog. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when these things are shaking and uh, everything's no. gone. Yeah, let's open it up. See, because it got sh around and now it's going to mess up. Hello! What are those? Jump boots! Oh, oh yeah, what day is that? 
Bell boots? No, it's jump boots. I jump think it's boots? Day 19. Well, there you go. Here are the calendars all done. My own. All right, we got a busy day and waiting for the furnace guys to come to warm us up. And uh, then we're off to ride some horses and oh, have our lessons God. on storm. And then it's we're off week. to the farm. It's only a week. Only Last, a week. She got seven things. It's only a week left. <laughs> That's right. Till Christmas. Yeah. Today's Tuesday. Next Tuesday is Christmas. Next Tuesday is Christmas. I picked the right one. I picked the top two and she got the bottom two and I picked the best calendars. So I don't have to. Seven days left, left of Christmas. The worst time for somebody to go in the hospital because we have been neglecting our Christmas shopping and we still have to go grocery shopping. And Mom goes grocery shopping. Because so we're not sure what we're doing yet. We could have a pot. We we're always thinking potluck at the hospital. I cook the turkey and everybody else shows up with something else and a big party at the hospital, but we'll see what happens. It's still morning time and I just wanted to share with you guys that I am going home. So yesterday, in yesterday's video, I asked you guys, what do you think I'm going to choose? Do you think I'm going to choose to stay for two weeks in rehab and go home stronger and better or go home and be with my family on Christmas? And yeah, I chose my family. A lot of people think I chose the wrong thing, but yeah, it has to happen. Like. I need to be home for Christmas. It just has to happen. And so I'm going home and it's going to take a day because they need time to order all the stuff. That All the stuff needs to get to my house. Sam's going to be dealing with a lot of the um, home care people. Like I'll have nurses and stuff at home too. So it won't be too bad. It, it'll be better. I'll heal faster. I'll be able to do more on my own. It will be amazing. I'm excited. I'm excited to edit videos again. Like I love editing videos. It's a, like a passion of mine. Like I am, I don't know. I haven't been able to watch the videos that Sam's been posting. I don't know how they've been coming out. I'm a bit nervous to watch them, but um, I'm excited to take over that task again and to start taking over my life again. We made it to the barn and we're kind of late, but there's a lot of people here. We're gonna get Storm and Stella now. Storm, what a nice sunny day. Yeah. Hey Storm. Oh, there's a Lassie. Lassie's here. Hey Lassie. I watched all your movies. I'm a big fan. Nope. Oh, uh oh. Come on. Come on. Let's see. Lassie, I let Lassie out. I let Lassie out. I let Lassie out and now I, she won't come back in. Oh my gosh, you guys. I let Lassie out. She hasn't come back in yet. This dog, I think last time it was let out, ran across the road and almost got hit. Where's Lassie? Hey, Stella. I'm going to be. Just the same. Yeah. Oh, Dad, feel the side of Stella. Feel it. It's so fluffy. Yeah, fluffy. She has a winter coat. <laughs> Storm, you look good in red. Oh, yeah, that's okay. I miss you in red. All right, you're trying the ear bonnet thing, aren't you? Yeah. You got everything? Got a whip? Are you gonna take that off? You should put your spurs on. Let Sophie walk him around. You get your spurs on. Hey Stella, you're all sad, eh? Sit right. All right. So the reason why Stella's out here right now is she's gonna be ridden by someone else. 
first and then after Gabby's lesson, Gabby's gonna ride her for a bit. And uh, Sophie today is doing her lesson on Storm. Doing her lesson on Storm. And you gotta remember that Sophie is a little bit traumatized after Laura's fall. And yeah, she's afraid of Stella. And Stella is a forward horse. So kudos for Sophie for getting back on, Stella, on Storm to do her lesson. And it's a big deal for her to do that big deal for us to for her to get on that so that's why Sophia is riding storm today so Stella's still working out because um someone else is riding her <coughs> a friend at the barn is riding her yeah so she can still get work you got like <laughs> Stella hair all over your face <laughs> she's shedding like crazy eh <laughs> like that was yesterday yeah that was all their hair from yesterday storm here on fire look at all the steam coming off you sophie's turn i'm proud of you Soph, getting on storm there let me no 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 you're fine go just don't want to sound off the there you go good job Soph. Good job. Good job. Oh, in love with you. You make me move easier, easier. Do you like me too? Do I make you breathe heavier, heavier? Oh, I can understand why you don't wanna be holding hands. Never let me see your true colors play.
Good job, so. Kudos for for Sophie to get getting back on the horse again and on Storm. She was a little bit hesitant, but now she's on him. All right. Good job, so. Good job. Was it fun? Yeah. It was an awesome lesson for Sophie today. She conquered her fear and she hasn't been on any horse since her mom fell, which is really good for her. Kudos. Oh my goodness. Now they're just walking around pooping everywhere and I'm out here trying to clean it all up. What's going on now? I guess better in here than out there, right? So they're cooling out the horses and then we gotta... <laughs> having fun again, eh? <laughs> All right, well, we're running late. We're supposed to go to the farm. We're supposed to go to the farm today, and we're running late. Now we, but you have to cool down or they'll all get sick. Yeah, low we'll battery too. All right, here's a sneak peek. It's a storm stall. Look at it, it's got a window, feeder. We have to get some mats. Some plywood for the side walls. Yeah, look, wait, look. Hold on. This is Stella's doll. This is Stella's doll. Cool. We need uh, mats for the floors. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.